I don't think I could have chose a better day to start vlogging. Guys, it has been a long time. Um, I've been procrastinating uh, why I shouldn't vlog and uh, I got to stop doing that. We got to stop doing that. If you do the same thing as to why you shouldn't be vlogging, photographing, anything that you love doing, quit procrastinating. Just do it. I couldn't have chose a better day to, to start. Uh, check out all this fog. There's some Scottish cattle behind me. Let me see if I can get a little closer. But uh, I just, uh, you know, I've been working and doing other stuff and uh, picked up some different new hobbies and uh, I kind of just set the camera down and kind of just left it in my bag. I would do photos here and there and um, I just really didn't bother picking it up. But today, today that's going to change. But check this out. Fix that. See if you guys can see them. Right behind me there. Oh, there's some Porsches with that. Woo! How cool is that? So, uh, I'm in, I'm near Tamales Bay. I'm actually heading there now. And then from Tamales Bay, I'm going to hit, hit Inverness. There's a shipped wreck out there. Shipped, a wrecked ship uh, that's out there. You might have seen it. But I'll show videos of it later. There's a lot of cars passing by. I'm going to go there and uh, just explore, enjoy the outdoors, and uh, talk a little bit. Uh, so let's go. Let's time more. Ready? Three, two, one. All right. So we made it. So I drove all the way down to Tamales. I am here in Miller Park in Tamales Bay. And... Uh, I just wanted to get out. I uh, haven't been doing anything photo. I haven't been really inspired to shoot, to film, to do anything related to holding this camera. Now, I got a text from a buddy, and he's a buddy that I work with, and basically telling me in short terms, because of long, long, um, very wise message, and told me to take time and to do what I love to do and I just uh, you know it got to me and uh, my girlfriend always tells me to just go out and film just go out and film and I always procrastinate I always give myself excuses uh, lame ass excuses too uh, as to why not to film and I think I was doing it all for the wrong reasons um, and then also you know you see other people and this is with anything you see other people and um, they've been already doing YouTube, Instagram or whatever they do for years, whether it's art, any type of creative thing that people do. And, you know, someone that's starting out, you, you see the people that inspire you and, you know, they started somewhere too. And we forget that. We forget that people start uh, at the very bottom and work their way to the top. And uh, I think we get the idea that we should already be at the top. Uh, and so that was always my way of thinking. And that's not a way to do that. Otherwise, you will always be stuck. You will always... I'm talking. Oh, shit. That's a bald eagle. Holy cow. That's awesome. We have bald eagles here in California. Uh, I haven't seen one. Man, today is just... Ah, today is just being such an epic day. Um, but yeah, so guys, get out there. Shoot, film, draw, sketch, sew, Bitcoin. Whatever it is that you're trying to do, get out there and do it. Because the saying, you only live once, is true. You don't want to be on your deathbed thinking, what if I did this? What if I did that? You know, no one dies and says, man, I wish I could have worked a little bit more. Nobody. Unless you love working, then 
that's all on you. But uh, all right, enough of me talking. Um, I'm going to put the drone in the air. I'm also going to take some pictures. You guys can see it's low tide, meaning the water for a very short time is has receded. And so it'll come back up in a few hours. Uh, so it's low tide exposing a lot of area that's usually not exposed. Uh, and I'm also going to put the drone in the air. I think I already said that. But I'm also going to put the 7200. There's some kayakers about to take off. There's bald eagles, Porsches. There was the Scottish cattle. I, it's going to be an epic day. And I'm here to document every single bit of it. And hope I don't fall. Uh, for you guys all to see. And uh, hopefully you guys join me for the ride. Alright, so let's go put the drone in the air. Okay, way too foggy up there. Can't really see much anyways, so let's head over to Inverness. Ready? Again, let's time warp. Three, two, one. <gasps> All right, so we're in Inverness, and uh, we are at the uh, wrecked ship that's out here. And it's low tide, so it might be pretty squishy out here, but we'll see what's going on. Now, I have filmed and photographed oh shit almost tripped uh this boat a couple times and uh, i think the best times to come out here if you're a photographer or filmmaker and you want to come out to inverness and film that ship the best time is like right before sunrise uh, sometimes you get a nice layer of fog out here or sunset right now it is 10 50 and uh it's uh, real overcast. You can see the lights real harsh, casting shadows, and I just, I'm not a fan of the lighting, but uh, I just wanted to come out here and kind of give you a little history, a little tour of the boat, and then uh, move on from here. It's not a long walk. Uh, you park behind a convenience store, and then you just take the little path, and the boat is right there. Now, this boat, uh, so the, from what I know, or what I've read, was before, because this is uh, protected wetlands, um, it was someone's property before it became protected wetlands, and there was a guy who owned the boat, you can see the name right here, and it says... Point Reyes. This was a fishing boat. And uh, the owner of the property back then dragged the boat over here because he was going to fix it. And so he dragged it here, left it there, and you know, you get those projects that you never finish. He never fixed it. And so it was left here. And so uh, it never got, never got fixed, obviously. And so when the property was taken over for wetland protection, uh, they, were going, they were going to dispose of the boat. They were going to take it away from here. And uh, a local photographer, who I don't know the name, but I'll probably research that later, um, he actually had the boat stay here. He got the people uh, that do the protection of the animal and wildlife um, I don't know how he did it, but he convinced them to keep it here. And so now this thing has been in numerous photos. Uh, people come to come visit and check it out. It used to be in better shape, but honestly, the weather and everything else has taken a toll. And uh, I think I read once that uh, when, uh, you know, when you would light up um, steel wool, and you'd spin it around and do a long exposure. So when that was really popular, someone did that and the boat caught on fire out here. And so that almost ruined it for the rest of us, but they still kept it here. They put the fire out and so the boat is still here. So let me turn the camera around and kind of give you a little tour. I know I just walked around it, but uh, let me show you. So there's the name. Point rays. You can see it's all just mangled and 
thrashed. But it's honestly, it's pretty cool to come see. Uh, I've seen people do star trails when the sky's nice and clear out here. And I've done photos here. Uh, portraits and just landscape stuff too. It's pretty nice. Just to get that old beat up, rustic. I don't even know if that's considered rustic, but definitely beat up look. You see in there. So we got more people coming. So yeah, that's a little history here. So that's in. This is in Inverness. Um, definitely come out, check it out. Definitely a spot to come out and have uh, have some food, have a sandwich. There's a lot of little stores, and uh, it's real nice out here. Oh, very overexposed. See what I mean? I bet you that last clip of me turning the camera around is just all overexposed. That's all right. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to head back to the truck, and uh, I am going to go to Point Reyes. It's low tide, so I'm really curious to see uh, what kind of stuff I can see out there. Oh, and I'm also going to hit the Cypress t Tree Tunnel before I hit the beach. So, um, let's let's just drive there. Let's not warp speed. I'm my stomach's getting sick. <clears throat> not gonna lie, got a little lost. Uh, the new road really threw me off. They fixed the entire road coming over here, and usually that road's garbage. Like it feels like your car is gonna fall apart. But uh, I'm in the Cypress Tree Tunnel, guys. Um, they closed the entrance to it. As you can see, it's really beautiful right now. Still got some fog, even though it's almost 11. Uh, still got some fog up in the sky. I'm going to move on fast from here. My battery's dying. Uh, it'll probably die as I'm recording this. But, um, yeah, it's nice. It's just nice to be out. And uh, you used to you used to be able to drive in, but uh, they closed that. It's probably due to COVID, and uh, so I'm staying all the way on the south side. All right, let's move on. All right, this day just keeps getting better and better as as the day progresses. This is my last stop. Uh, after this, I'm heading home. It's almost noon, and I've been out since 5.30 in the morning, I believe. Six, six-ish. We got up at 5.30, left like around six. But I just met, uh, uh, I guess you, you could call her an audio engineer for uh, NPR News. Um, she's a, a radio talk host for a radio station in San Francisco. but. Uh, she said that uh, it's for NPR and, and the Bay Area stuff. So she gave me her card, and uh, it's just, yeah, it's awesome. Um, but uh, I just wanted to come out here and, and talk to the camera, but to you guys that are watching. And uh, I keep saying, uh, because I don't know what I'm going to say, but eventually it'll all piece together. Um... Back to what I was saying earlier of um, of just following your dream. Do what it is that you want to do because time is flying by. I, I can't, I'm, I don't know. I'm like, uh, I can tell you how fast time flies because I have three kids. Uh, I've, I've, uh, I've just seen it fly by and I haven't done anything. And I always say I'm going to do it and then I don't. And then, and then I get these like little spurts of energy where I do it and then I'll stop because I basically psych myself out of not doing it because I see other people 
doing better than me but those people like I said earlier have already been doing it for a long time and I'm expecting for me to already be at that level when that's not realistic um, I don't even know what this channel is going to be about to be quite honest with you uh, it's I love photography I love cinematography but I also love fishing I love cooking I love woodworking I love um, leather crafting knife making which those two I've never done but the other two I have uh, I love exploring traveling I love all that stuff and it feels like the the reason why people get stuck in this thing is because they feel like they have to do this one thing and that's what you have to do because then if you're good at it that's the only thing you can do and that shouldn't be like that you should just be able to do what you want to do for yourself quit worrying about other people quit worrying about likes quit worry about everything just go out and start doing what you want to do and then all that other stuff comes later just work hard for it just just go do it um, time's short and nothing's guaranteed so why wait all right guys well I'm gonna cut out I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee and uh, I'm just going to go home and upload this whether it's really good or it's not I'm just gonna start uploading everything whatever GoPro stuff this stuff drone stuff everything cooking fishing it's all gonna be it's all gonna be in there and it all it will all make sense later so like subscribe if those are all things that you're interested in and you want to see it just on one channel instead of following well follow everybody but instead of uh, you know having to wait for one channel to do one thing and one channel to do another follow me like and subscribe see you guys peace